Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. My name is Sam White and I am the founder at Shakespeare in Detroit. I am wishing you all good health and happiness. I just wanted to stop by and give everyone a brief update for Shakespeare in Detroit. If you've been following our social media pages then you know that we just completed eight weeks, that's 160 hours in youth conservatory with 10, 14 to 17 year olds who are based in Detroit. It was wonderful and we consider it to have been a successful time. Um, all 10 of the participating students received scholarships for $1,000 each, thanks to the Max M and Marjorie S. Fisher Foundation. So that means $10,000 total was given out to our students for their great work, for their hard work with Shakespeare in Detroit this past summer. Our Youth Conservatory is an extension of the work that we do throughout the regular school year from September to May. That programming, during the regular school year is called Shakespeare STEAM. The STEAM, S-T-A-M, represents the science of lighting, a production, the technology of sound design, the engineering of a former costume, the art of classical performance, and the mathematics of building a set. So again, our summer program is an extension of that. And we were really excited, really grateful to be able to um, introduce to these 10 students in-person learning because as most of you know, most students had been um, quarantined and working in isolation and away and out of the classroom and perhaps at their kitchen tables or in their rooms or somewhere at home learning. And so for them to be able to re-engage with their peers and learn more about Shakespeare, about theater, the world and our industry itself was um, really incredible to be a part of. And we're honored and we thank the parents who worked as our collaborators for making that happen. Also. Um, many special thanks to all the teachers who worked with us in conservatory and um, our production assistant, our wardrobe assistant. Really great work, everyone, and thank you for making this, this work possible for our young people. Um, we were only able to invite a small number of people, parents mostly, and some of our stakeholders from Detroit Public Schools Community District and our sponsor, uh, the Max M. Again and Marjorie S. Fisher Foundation. So we were only able to have a small audience because we wanted to do our very best, um, do our due diligence to keep everyone safe. However, the exciting news is that we recorded the performance that took place in August, or actually on August 14th, and that will be available at the end of September. So look for that announcement, look for more news on that, look for that video link on our social media pages. And, you know, I always encourage everybody when you're waiting for content from Shakespeare in Detroit, specifically video content, you want to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that way, if you turn on your notifications as well, you'll always be uh, notified when we have posted a new video or more content is available to you from Shakespeare in Detroit. If you haven't already seen some of the, the work that we've done in the digital space, um, you are missing out. It's so much great stuff. We have our podcast from last year available. We have, uh, which is called the Power 15, we have uh, several readings available and uh, content for students. So make sure you check that out. And again, subscribe and turn on your notifications for Shakespeare in Detroit on YouTube. Um, also what's coming up in December is our annual, this will be the fourth annual reading of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. So um, for the fourth year in a row, we're gonna gather together on Christmas Eve Eve, that's December 23rd. This time we're gonna be at uh, the former campus of Mary Grove College, which is now called Mary Grove Conservancy. We're gonna be inside the Brownstone Room, which is inside the Madam Cadillac Building. It's a historical space. We'll be in the Brownstone at the Madam Cadillac Building to read Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. If you buy a ticket, you'll get free cookies and milk. If you don't want milk and you're of age, <laughs> you can have champagne, compliments of us. Um, for purchasing your ticket. And that's gonna happen on December 23rd. So we hope to see you then. Beyond that, um, full transparency, I'm not sure what's what's going to be programmed just yet. Uh, Shakespeare in Detroit is gonna have a board meeting. We're gonna talk to some of our uh, constituents, supporters, colleagues, and talk a bit more about how we wanna reintroduce ourselves in the professional theatrical space. We've done a lot of work over the past three years with youth and with students, but of course we are a professional theater company, so we look forward to bringing back our professional work. We actually haven't done a professional show since 2018, so next year we'll make it four years since we've been on stage in the professional uh, space. But, um, and I'll speak in eyes now, I am, um, 
working behind the scenes to make sure that when we do make an announcement of what's coming up next for us in the professional space, separate from our youth work, or our outreach work, our educational work, separate from those things, that we are empowered with the resources, um, human resources and physical resources um, to do the work, to bring the work to life that represents our great history. We will have been around 10 years next year. Um, our first year was Shakespeare Against Cancer. That's sort of where our Shakespeare journey began. So that happened in 2012, which means 2022 is our 10 year anniversary. But we want to reintroduce ourselves in the professional space in a way that showcases our our new skill level. You know, um, if you've been around for 10 years, you hopefully have learned a lot and that has taken the work to the next level. We want to be able to have the human resources and the financial resources to be able to really showcase um, our creativity in a way that meets our standard our new standard of artistry and professional theatrical work. So stay tuned, definitely know that behind the scenes we are doing the work, we just aren't prepared. I'm just not prepared yet to announce what we want to present just yet, but it's coming. And we're doing it in a more um, magical, strategic, professional way um, than we ever have before. We've done some great work over the last 10 years, but we want to take that to new heights. And so uh, thank you for being on the journey with us. Thank you for your patience. And also to let you know, in the meantime and in between time, we will um, have other programming opportunities. We will be looking to bring back our inebriated reading series soon. In addition to that, um, we always have swag available on our website. And I am in the space and in the place right now of designing new swag because you know, sometimes you see t-shirts and you can tell that, you know, all due respect that a logo was just placed on the t-shirts, but we really want to curate fashion. And so, um, you know, you might be able to tell from, from my hair <laughs> that I'm on a fashion journey right now. And so, um, I hope to bring that level of, um, of vibrancy and uh, creativity and, uh, risk taking to some, I think, really great wearable pieces for Shakespeare in Detroit. So stay tuned for that. Um, a lot coming down the pike. Um, thank you for being on this journey with us. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you for um, giving donations if you've been someone who's done that before. Thank you for your encouraging words. Thank you for engaging with us on social media. Thank you, everybody that has supported us in any way, shape, or form. We're so grateful. Um, thank you. Even if you haven't done any of those things, but you've just sent us positive energy, we're truly grateful. Looking forward to the future. Um, there are no limits, you know, and um, yeah, we'll be back very, very soon in the professional space. And we look forward to welcoming you uh, into our theater uh, when that happens. We're now, by the way, um, based at Mary Grove College, the former Mary Grove College, now the Mary Grove Conservancy. So um, we have a space, a physical brick and mortar space that we're working out of now, which is exciting. So, um, so many things happening. I'll have another update for you soon and, uh, enjoy the rest of your week and talk again soon. Bye.